tough day ahead. Gotta go visit the ex-wife. All right, Mrs. Bird, if you watching, relax. Put the phone down, don't smash it up. I don't have a secret former spouse. It's just the name of today's food challenge. Admittedly a slightly insensitive name, but it's not my restaurant, don't blame me. You can complain in the comments, but it's not my fault. <laughs> That's what they call it, I guess, these days. Uh, oh, yeah, you like Ghost? Yeah, yeah, cool. The owner seems to be a fan of the band Ghost because uh, he pointed out my t shirt, so hopefully, he'll go easy on me. Strength amongst Ghost fans. It's like four burritos and one ends up to be somewhere between like six and seven pounds. So you get 45 minutes to finish. It costs 50 bucks, I think. And uh, if you do finish, you get the meal free, a t shirt, and a spot on the wall of fame. But it's, um, it's a seven pound burrito. All right, so this is it, the ex-wife. I'm gonna have to ask the guy why they call it that. I'm sure there's a story behind that. You think I can do this? Uh, I'm believing you. I think you can do this. I don't really see much sincerity on your face, I don't believe you, but I'll give it a try. 45 minutes you get, right? 45 minutes, yeah. And uh, if you finish it... Um... It's free, you walk away the t-shirt, the respect of the staff. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully I can do it, right? Yeah, brother. Whenever, you, when, whenever you're ready, I'm, I'm All good. All right, man, time's on you. We'll start the clock now. Have uh, at it. <laughs> What's up, folks? Welcome back to day three in Florida. And today I'm in a place called Winter Garden, which sounds a bit like to me uh, a level you would advance to in Sonic the Hedgehog, but apparently it's a real place. <laughs> oh, it tastes amazing. Indeed, it did taste amazing. Um, I would say that when you do food challenges, oftentimes the food tastes good, but it is reasonably rare that the food tastes really, really good, like exceptionally good. And I would say this place is, uh, is an exception to that rule because it tastes fantastic. This is hefty. <laughs> My beard's gonna be a mess. It's inevitable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to kind of keep it together. The burrito. My life too, but more, more the burrito. Yeah, you're not having a great deal of success on either front there, Sonny Jim. And this is, it's not really a wet burrito. It's not really a dry burrito. It's somewhere in the middle meaning that the end pieces are reasonably neat and tidy, but the middle, as you no doubt have already guessed, is a, is a bit sloppy. This end piece here, I think I could just eat this like one reasonably smart, neat burrito. This part in the middle, I might have to attack with the knife and fork. I don't know why I said attack. Colonialism must die hard with the English. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm at a place called The Whole Enchilada, if you've not already guessed, and uh, I'm taking on the ex-wife burrito, so named because, um, quote, it seemed like a good idea at the time, <laughs> which is actually pretty funny, and uh, yeah, it's actually $40, not 50 and if you finish inside 45 minutes, it's on the house. Oh, you got this. <laughs> Hey, you gotta love a vote of confidence from a complete stranger. The waitress, I don't think, um, was particularly convinced I'd be successful, but uh, that fellow diner, he, uh, he had some faith. Yeah, this is uh, man. Look away, look away. <laughs> Five minutes now, man. <laughs> Americans are so supportive. No, if this was in England, people would be like, oh, there's no way you can do that. I'm definitely going to need the uh, spoon. Yeah, I quite like that negativity, though. I, the British have a delightful tendency to be a bit contrary. Too much positivity makes me feel uncomfortable. I, th I think I prefer it when people either don't think I'm going to win, or better yet, don't actually want me to win. <laughs> Look at the size of this spoon. I've never seen a plastic ladle before. What? I'm sure I have at some point. Maybe I've uh, I've never eaten with one before, but I'm sure I've seen one. I should have nicked this actually. 
sure it would have come in handy at some point again in the future. I should probably start on the uh, on the nachos too. I don't think my mouth was fully recovered from the uh, the burger challenge a couple of days ago. Ugh. Yeah, my gob's still a bit tender. So uh, although it looks like I'm pretty much almost done, these nachos do take a while. Uh, as you can probably tell by the uh, the remaining length of the video. <laughs> they were good though, pretty good. I think this is far and away the best Mexican food I've ever eaten. Or by a mile, the best burrito I've ever had. <laughs> Hold your horses, that's a, that's a big statement. Probably true though, it was pretty banging. The nachos are going to take me longer than the actual burrito. <laughs> I'm laughing because when I said that, I was like, oh, that's a, a bit of a gag. But it actually turns out to be true. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been going. I've got plenty of time, I think, but... When I said the nachos were going to take longer than the burrito, at first it was a joke, but I think that might actually be the case. It's always a skinny guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's never the guys that come in with the muscles who and they, and they make it halfway through again. <laughs> I think he was trying to say that I am not muscular. A very day. <laughs> yeah, I'm more sinewy than anything. Kind of like a greyhound. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was done with the burrito after like five minutes. How does it take me ten minutes to eat all these nachos? Yeah, he's with the incredulity. You're just a, a bit of a slow poke. We're getting there though. We've just got a few, uh, thankfully, I mean, I, I saved some of the delicious fillings. I didn't even mention the fillings. You can, you can uh, choose your meat. That sounds a bit weird, but um, you, you don't have to take chicken. You can get steak or uh, shrimp, I think. Um, and of course it's accompanied by the normal stuff you would get in a, a, a burrito. But yeah, thankfully I left some to dip the nachos in and soften them up a bit. I'm trying to get every last scrap. Yeah, you better. We're on international duty here, so let's lead by example. I never did actually figure out whether it was six or seven pounds. The guy said it was somewhere between. Anyway, it was delicious. Highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. You're good, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so impressed. You had, what, 20, 20, 27 50 remaining. So do that math. That's, that's pretty good. That's awesome. That, I think it, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. No worries. That's a, that is a cool t shirt. Was it sitting back? Laughing so hard, my sombrero falls off, and I dropped my taco. I like it. Look at this glass. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Did you eat it? Yeah. That did was I? Ex-wife challenge, right? You got it shouting at me. You said yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you got it. Smart. Yeah, that, that, that helped me through. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs>